Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, November 30th, 2020. Um, so it's been a while. It's, it's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video for my channel, uh, the J world family. For those of you new, welcome. Um, there's reasons behind that. Um, it's been a little crazy. Um, I started to make a video over a week ago and then just some things came up that day. So I didn't get to finish it. I might still post some of the clips. Um, and add them to this one. Um, you might see some of them in here. I think I'm gonna add them. It was a day out with my fiance Caroline, and you know, I'll probably just add them in here so you guys can see. Uh, we brought her to that Blaze Pizza place, um, so she could try it out like I did with the kids. And I told you I would bring her and show you what she thought. And then we just kind of rode around for the day and did a couple things. Um, but I will, I will add that to this video. But the main reason I wanted to come on is because, um, for those of you who are new to this channel, um, I work at a children's home. So uh, these kids live there, they go home on visits, um, and I've been doing this you know, for almost five years. And I'm a recreation coordinator there. Um, and my fiance, she is a nurse. So we've had a very high chance that during this year, uh, you know, we could have got COVID. Um, you know, we've had to protect these patients, these clients, um, protect ourselves. Um, and you know, for the most part, we've all done a really good job. Um, I'm very fortunate. Well, um, lo and behold, uh, you know, some things have happened and, um, myself and Caroline now have tested positive for COVID for the first time since this pandemic has started. Um, which is, you know, I'm not shocked uh, that I finally uh, got it. it sucks, um, but it's definitely a learning uh, experience. So we so we are now both in quarantine at our house. Um, our kids, they're with their dad in Vermont. Um, they got tested, uh, their test came back negative. Um, we told them they're going to go get tested one more time um, because they did the rapid testing and I'm not, we both feel like the rapid testing is not 100%, but they're going to go back and get tested again um, probably in another day or so. But hopefully that test stays that way and they stay negative and they don't, they didn't bring the, you know, coronavirus over that, that way. Um, but they've been gone for a week now. Um, so they're going to be gone. They're going to be staying with their dad until our quarantine's up. Um, our quarantine's like 10 to 14 days from the date of our test. So my, technically they told me my, even though I, you know, was possibly showing some signs beforehand, they're like, you, you start on Friday when you got your test and then Caroline's test was Tuesday. So we'll just, you know, quarantine together. Um, so I figured I'm going to make a video of just like the next, uh, week or so of what the quarantine's like. Um, you know, we're doing stuff around the house. It's Christmas time. So, you know, we're trying to get the house ready for Christmas. Um, it sucks because originally today, um, or, you know, we were going to take the kids after school to go get a tree uh, for Christmas because we're going to get a real tree. So now we just got to wait a little longer to do that. Um, but we're going to get some stuff down around from the house. I'm going to work a little bit from home. My job's letting me work from home. And, of course, you know, they got to cover me being out as well. Um, you probably wonder, well, how do you feel? Um, so I've had some of the symptoms. I lost my sense of taste. I lost my sense of smell. Started slowly coming back yesterday. Uh, I've been able to smell a little bit and was able to finally start to taste food somewhat. Not to the full extent, but I could taste it. Like I had bacon, I could finally taste the salt. Um, a little bit of that flavor, but it wasn't like that extreme flavor. It wasn't like, I was like, oh my God, this bacon tastes amazing. It actually was like, wow, this is the weakest bacon I've ever tasted in my life. So, uh, Caroline still cannot smell to the full extent. She's just getting some of it a little bit back today. We feel very fatigued. I'm finally feeling the fatigue part of it uh, and sleeping easier and longer. Um, like I had to set an alarm to wake up and I've never, really don't usually have to do that. I can wake, my body wakes up in the morning, but um, you know, comes with it. 
Um, not worried, not concerned. I'm actually like, you know what? You know, we got it. My feeling about it is, you know, it's good that we got it because now it'll be in our system and now our body can learn to fight it and know that if it comes back again, my body will know, oh, okay, this is back again, let's fight it even harder. So, because as we've all learned, you know, as I've told people, you know, if, when we're babies, what do we have to do? We have to get germs to fight germs. The same thing with this. This is a virus, it's a, it's a germ, it's a bacteria, it's whatever. You gotta get it to fight it. And I know it is dangerous for some, it's dangerous for all, but, and I know it's dangerous, especially for people with weak immune systems and, you know, older people and yeah of course protect protect them from getting it because it could do some fatal damage but it's also something that you know i feel that if you get it you can fight it you know and don't stay stationary don't just lay down all day move make your body active so it is fighting it we were taking medication our doctor said take regular cold and flu yes it's not technically stuff that'll consider to fight it but they're like that'll control anything else like if you get a you know uh fever if you you know stuff you knows like that's the normal stuff to fight off so fight that stuff off and we have we've been taking normal cold flu and it's been helping so just the news makes this out like nothing helps well they're wrong there's stuff out there that is helping making it while you're home don't don't fall into that trap of what the news and everything is telling you you know i'm not scared i'm not you know worried i'm gonna be back stronger my fiance is gonna be back stronger and we actually just found out my mom tested positive so you know and she's somebody of course i worry about you know she's older in the late 60s and um you know she's been cancer free though for uh 15 years or yeah some 15 years now but still i worry but i told her yesterday i said mom move around sleep sitting up take some regular meds and you know don't get scared and she was scared you know because the news has scared everybody with this they've made everybody terrified of this and you know now you got i think that's the main thing the the fear that you've put in people you know if they get it they're like crap i'm dead and she said it yes she's oh my god i'm dead i'm like mom you're not dead you will get through this i'm sick of this you know the news and what the news has done to people they've put fear this is what they do to control us fear don't let fear control you And so I gave her positive positivity yesterday, and I'm going to keep giving her positivity. I'm going to head her up today, talk to her. And I know I checked on her yesterday when she told us, and I asked her how she was feeling because she was feeling sick over the weekend. Um, she said she's feeling a little bit better yesterday, you know, but then she got that news. So of course, that concerned her. But I told her, do the stuff that I just, you know, what I just said. Move around. Keep yourself active. Take some medication. Take some basic meds do that and you'll be 100% in no time so so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is uh, just take you along on this journey the J world family journey of COVID hey guys so I just wanted to come on real quick um, this is me now after quarantine uh, but the next section you're supposed you're about to watch in this video actually was recorded before um, the quarantine um, as you hear me in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to add in this section so you guys could see some of the recording I did with myself and my family. So I wanted to throw that in there. So the next few minutes of the video will be events that took place days before we had to quarantine because we had COVID-19. So you're going to see um, us decorating the house with the kids and things like that. So I hope you enjoy. And then it'll get back to the COVID quarantine part of the videos. Enjoy. So here we are back at Blaze Pizza, a little less than a week later. I took the kids here on Saturday, first time ever we came here, and we loved the pizza here. It was great. This is the place. And myself and Kyle rated it four stars out of five. Gage gave it a five. And now I've brought Caroline to enjoy. She got a cauliflower crust like me but she got a red vine pizza it has red sauce she got ricotta fresh mozzarella tomatoes olives what else basil, basil oregano a little sea salt what do you think garlic of the, garlic oh yeah fresh garlic what do you think of the pizza babe terrible would not recommend she's so lying as she takes a bite again 
I think it's good. And these are the pizzas. It's literally personal size. So I got, again, cauliflower crust. I got mozzarella, ricotta, chicken, bacon, and salami. And then barbecue sauce drizzled at the end with um, oregano and a little sea salt. Gross, this gross pizza is delicious. And now we just found out they have a keto crust. So now we're going to try that next time to see what the keto crust tastes like. So Caroline and I are out just having a day to ourselves while the kids are at school. Yep. Little date day. Oh. What did you get to drink? Um, I don't really know. Some kind of drink with tangerine. Take a sip of it. It's good, right? What is it? I really don't remember. I think it was like blood orange tangerine. Oh, or it's yeah, it's like something, something, something. less sugar. It doesn't have a lot of sugar, which is good. So this is our day, and my beautiful fiance. I just can't stop looking at her. That's the smile that won me. So, we'll be back. Good evening, everyone. We're back. Earlier, we were at the Blaze Pizza bringing Caroline for the first time. As you can hear, there's Christmas music in the background. Caroline's in the Christmas spirit. Um, so, kids have been cleaning. And now we've been cleaning their fish tanks and turning them over for Christmas. We wanted to show you what we did. How corny we are. How and uh, Kyla's fish tank, we got the little gingerbread house, Santa, some red gems, yeah. two beautiful fish in there. There's one. Where'd the other one go? Yeah. Try to, oh, there he is. And then in Gage's tank, we got the snowman and a tree and his little fish. He used to have a micro shrimp, but that might have gotten eaten by the fish. So that's what we got going and caroline is decorating our bathroom downstairs Whoa, hey, so let's show you what that looks like we got the door she's doing and then our wonderful shower curtain and our snowman toilet with her bra on the seat that's great that's on camera going in youtube wow. awesome can you move the clothes so they can see what's on the toilet see it's a scarf his face is right on the lid and then his hat is the top of the bowl so that's what we got going on so far. Getting the house ready for Christmas because the kids won't be here for Thanksgiving. So the tradition of decorating um, decorating the day after Christmas with the children won't be able to happen. So we're trying to get it done now. We will go buy our tree um, when they come back. We're going to actually buy a real one this year. We're going to go cut down our own one. Little uh, Clark Griswold style. Christmas vacation. Christmas vacation. Copyright. So, um, yeah, I am special. That's why they call me Special J. So, oh, I thought it was because you ate crayons. Holiday adventures with the J World family upon us. So, this is what we're doing. We're making the uh, J World family assembly line to bring Christmas from the top down to the bottom. Mom, so much no, Christmas no. joy happening right now in this staircase. No. You hear that love up there? That is sibling love. Sibling love. Sorry. Can you pass that down, please? We're waiting. You Listen, you, if you drop my Disney stuff, you see these two? It's going to be entertaining for YouTube. Falling down oh, the stairs. The sound of a tool chest falling down the stairs. Here, baby. Alright. We don't need to film this. I'm filming. Why? Joyful! Is that it? Stop! Is that everything? Everybody come on down to help because we're decorating. Get your butts down here. Oh, joyful it. times are happening. I look homeless. <laughs> That's true. Well, there we go. Christmas joy. 
Hello all, I'm back. It's uh, two hours later since I gave you the big news. So we tried to do a little housework and uh, it feels like we've been working all day. COVID definitely does take a little toll on you. The fatigue is real. So I think we're both gonna relax for a little while. Here's the uh, fiance, Caroline. Hi. I told him we all have COVID for the YouTube. So, yeah, we, we got some housework done. The house is looking a little cleaner. Look at it's the lights. You know, we don't have the tree. Like I said, we were supposed to get a tree today, but uh, that's on pause. But we will. We'll have a tree soon enough. The outside is all decorated. We decorated inside a little bit. Oh, right there, we got our, we put garland around the clock. We did a Grinch theme this year. We got the Grinch. So, yeah, that's what's going on. But we will be fine. We will be 100%. I just let Zero out of his room. Zero, can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh, there he goes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. Um, it's a couple days later since um, I announced that myself and my fiance have the COVID. The Vid, as uh, Kevin Hart calls it on his new special on Netflix, The Vid. Um, so, last few days we've been just resting, doing some housework. You know, being home in quarantine. <laughs> That's the puppy. Being home in quarantine and, you know, you gotta... All right, zero. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you gotta keep moving a little bit and uh, keep yourself active, but also rest because it does, we get tired very quick. But we're doing we're doing better. We're, we're feeling a lot better than we did, you know, uh, five days ago, and uh, slowly getting to a hundred percent. And uh, you know, just every day choosing a project to do in the house, a little project, you know. Uh, been trying to clean up the house, keeping up with laundry, getting laundry caught up. I uh, yesterday Caroline did some sewing, which she has not done in a long time, and I. Uh, I have a lot of DVDs, so my DVD collection was all messed up. So yesterday, I redid the closet where I have all the DVDs. We used to, out of the living room, Caroline had her DVDs right there on a the shelf, but I needed that shelf, so I took that shelf, and I'll show you what I did. And this took a while, all right? So that's the start of it, and it goes all the way down there. So then, hold on. Put that shelf over there and that shelf over there. So yeah. So I did that yesterday. That's what I did. I worked on that yesterday and also our we have one of those inflatable hot tubs we decided to buy this year. We saw it at Walmart and we've never owned one. I've never owned one. So we bought one because they're not that expensive. And yesterday I had to do chemical really put a lot of chemicals in it because it was the water was starting to turn. Because we haven't been in it in a while. And today I actually went out and checked on it. The water looks great. Now that I threw a bunch of chemicals in it, shocked it. Come on, Bubba. Um, so got that done and then that was it. I was exhausted and rested the rest of the day. Um, today I've had to do some work from home for work. Been working on paperwork and some emails. And uh, sorry, I just put plug in the light in for the fish. Um, and uh, so I'm doing that. And then we put in a grocery delivery order, which will get dropped off at our doorstep and will be no contact between us and the associates. You know, these new times, 2020, all the stuff you can do or you can place orders, food orders and have it delivered and not even have to have any sort of um, conversation with the person that's dropping it off or anything. No contact is crazy. I'm not used to it. I I, I don't like it. Uh, I'm a person that likes to go to the grocery store. I'm not into this new age of ordering online and having it come to your house. I mean, I do a little bit with Amazon, but nothing crazy. I like going to the store. Um, so yeah, all right. Um, you know, we're getting better a little bit here and there. And uh, just watch a lot of movies, a lot of TVs. Uh, Wentworth is a show on Netflix we're watching. We've been watching last night, we watched Rocky 1. We're doing all the Rockies. And funny, I'm going to post a video on here 
Uh, I'm gonna take like I'm not posting this video until the week until the quarantine is done. I'm gonna post it as a whole thing. Um, you can see a video of uh, Zero here last night. We were watching Rocky and the one scene where he gets Buck Kiss, his new dog from Adrian. He heard the dog bark, so he's sitting there looking at the screen, and then he gets up and tries to go look for the dog. And it was kind of cute. It was funny. So I'll post that in there. Um, he actually wants to go outside, so let's let him outside. There he goes. He's gonna go outside. Me turn quick. There he goes. Can go outside, Zero? Yeah? All right. There you go. You can kind of see some of the stuff we have set up. Candy canes. We got this archway right here. Um, go ahead. Go outside. Go ahead. But yeah, we're just chilling. But we wanted to keep you guys posted on how our COVID um, recovery is going. And it's going fine. I talked to my mom yesterday. You know, she's slowly getting better. Because my mom, I don't know if I mentioned in the video, my mom also has COVID. Um, so we're all just taking it easy, resting and uh, doing little house things when we can do it since we're home and I can't sit still all day. I gotta be able to do a little bit of something. Um, so we're just taking each day as it comes. And uh, with that, we'll be better before you know. Um, but yeah, but that's about it. So for those of you new to the channel, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a big thumbs up. It helps support the channel in many ways. Um, and just keep looking forward to what's coming here with the J World family. All right, it's now evening time. Um, so we're gonna take a little ride. We're quarantined in the car, away from anybody. We're not going near anybody. We're just taking a ride to go see some Christmas lights, get out of the house. And I said I would show you the outside of our house, oh, no. what it looks like. One of our sets is out, which is when I'm done being quarantined, I'll go get a new light set. Um, but we're gonna take a car ride. Uh, there's a street that Caroline knows about. The whole street gets lit up and we'll just go see some houses and uh, we'll show you outside real quick. So here we go. I get it. It's one of the light bulbs. Got that. We got lights all the way around on our fence. And we got this cool archway. Oh, I should probably plug in. Hold on one second. So there's our one projection light. Snowflakes. Ooh, how pretty. In the candy cane forest. Past the sea of swirly, twirly gumdrops. So that's that side, plus the lights along the fence line. And then we have Jack, Santa Jack, and that there. And then, let me turn it on. Nice little Christmas projection. And up in that window, right there, I don't have it on right now. There's a projection that comes through with movies. I just don't have it on. So that's our little projection there. Fine, and then right down there on the fence, it's out. And we got our little, our big candy canes, our penguin. And then this set decided to go out and we plugged it in. So now I only got that set, so I gotta replace that. So two things I gotta replace. And then we got two big candy canes on the fence. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. One year I would like, so we got the Grinch on the top of the roof trying to strip the lights off and then we got our Christmas tree and soldiers so that's what we got going on in the front nutcrackers they're toy soldiers they're not nutcrackers nutcracker I'm back sorry my video stopped would you rather die bored and never do anything or never have money and do things make memories is more important to me doing things traveling <laughs> And it is to her too. She's all about making memories. We wanted, like it's been so long since we've had time to ourselves. We were like, oh, we can't wait. We're gonna, I'm gonna take some days off for Thanksgiving for my job. And 
We'll get some time together. We want a vacation. This is not what we had in mind, but. Because Justin gave us the Rona. <laughs> because I gave us the Rona. But Here I will say, go. hold on. I will say we are having nice days off. Like we're spending time together. We're laughing, just creating memories. But here, let me show you some lights. Here. Let me flip it around. Go slow, don't drive fast. I can't. Like, I thought you said the street was decorated. And we're about to turn onto it. Okay, we're about to turn on to the street. Oh, look, the bows. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. I feel like I'm in I feel like I'm in Little Italy in New York City where they do the thing across the street. It's very nice, the little bells across and the candles. We're gonna go drive some neighborhoods as well. Caroline will probably have me take over driving at some point to pick, not. pick up the spots. Or she doesn't wanna throw up. Something I like to do during the holidays is like take certain nights and go look at um, Christmas lights, see how people are decorating. It seems like this year people have decorated. You know, this has been that year. COVID did something. COVID, because we were so bored, COVID made people do things again. Even Halloween, people decorated. And Christmas, it seems like a lot more people are decorating. You know, for quite a few years now, it seems like everybody started to decline on the decorating for holidays. And COVID kind of re-triggered that old school value of decorate for the holidays. So, COVID, thank you for at least triggering that. Oh, we got some here. Hold on. Little blow-ups in the yard. You're driving too fast. My video can't capture wow. you drive oh. that fast. All right, when we get to a street that has a lot of lights, I will be back with more. Stay tuned. All right, well, we didn't drive that far. I just said we'd be back, but holy crap. They actually went all out. Let me open the window here. Very pretty. Oh, I like their little black wow. light things. They did really nice. I like the white lights. White lights always make a house look nice. They're pretty. All right, on to the next house. All right, we've passed oh, a few houses. This one's a, this house is this house is nice. It's like very out of place though. House. Very nice. We got some lights coming up here. And other than that, everything else is flowing fairly well. I'm Steve. That's traffic. The Capital Region's new holiday music station. The new 103.9 The Breeze. All right, we've been driving around for a while. We found some houses, but now we're in another neighborhood. We're going to continue looking around more, but this will be the last neighborhood I video for tonight. Some nice houses in here. They really went all out with the red and green light. They did more of the uh, colonial look. Thrilling. No, you know, let's get to chilling. We hope you enjoyed our tour tonight on our little COVID quarantine car ride to see lights. We got some nice lights coming up here. It's next street. Caroline's gonna drive a little slower so I don't oh. miss out on lights. Not this slow. Now they did a nice job. We got some nice colorful lights and looks nice. Guy's working in his office. I can see through their windows. That's not creepy at all. Ooh. Okay, that looks like the McAllister house a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So that's what we got. A little bit, a little bit of de decor. Oh, wow. This house, the best house. Just a thing of garland lights and a wreath. I think that's pretty, though. On the house. Ooh, I like those big light things. Ooh, those are cool. 
Those are cool. All right. Well, that's uh, it's gonna do this it for tonight. Our this concludes today. our broadcast for um, looking at lights tonight. We'll do more throughout the Christmas season of this month, but uh, we'll keep you posted every day on our quarantine and uh, hope all of you have a good night. Remember, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a big thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next day of the J World family during February. <laughs> <laughs> the J World family during COVID quarantine. What's up, guys? Welcome to the J World family. Day seven of day seven or eight of my quarantine uh, with COVID. Um, so I'm actually taking a walk. Um, if you guys, those of you who have been part of my channel, you know I live near the Erie Canal locks. And I have trails that walk over there that are away from people and especially being colder out and it's early um, Not a lot of people are out and as you can see I'm walking with my mask on um, So I'm staying safe and I'm making sure if anybody does pass me I stay away from them and I have my mask on while I'm walking um, But I needed to take zero on a walk, you know It's been a couple days it's been a few days since I've been able to take him on a walk because I stayed inside the house stayed quarantined He's been able to run around the yard in the back, but he's showing he needs some more fresh air and a longer walk so i decided to take a walk i'm feeling a lot better um i still my sense of smell is still um not a hundred uh, but they say that could last for quite a while but i'm doing better caroline's doing better um but i wanted to just show you uh you know what i'm looking at right now with the canal here so Last weekend, right after uh, Thanksgiving, they empty the canal out. All the locks get emptied. They only leave a little bit of water. And they have, like, um, a couple um, tugboats and boats that get left, and they just drop right down to the ground. So I'm going to show you what the canal by my house looks like now. There you go. And it's just completely empty with a little bit of water. Usually this is full right up to the top of the wall. And as you can see, way down there is a barge just sitting right on the ground. So yeah, this gets emptied for the winter. And uh, it'll get filled up um, usually, I believe, April. This past year, due to COVID, they did not fill this up until almost, I think it was like late May, early June. Because they didn't want, because of the whole lockdown thing, they didn't want boats coming through, people coming through. Even though to me... Being on a boat is a social distance activity because it's you on your boat. But they kept this emptied all the way till almost early summer. Um, so hopefully this coming year, that won't be the case. They'll fill everything back up. They'll put the docks back in early or back on time like they usually do in April. Uh, but I'm going to show you right up here where a drop-off is. I didn't see this until last year. I didn't know there was such a drop-off right here. Um, right before the doors open. But this is how they empty out the water and rise the water in the lock. Now I took you in my last video, I brought you guys over here. For those of you who are new, uh, welcome to the J World family. Um, so I brought you over here with it full and showed you a boat in the lock and the water filling up. But let me show you this drop off. Uh, take the dog up here though where it's safe all right so right here by lock the final lock so this is the drop off so there's the edge drops off way below the door and that's the door that opens up into the lock and then I'll show you so this is the big door and you can walk through this while it's closed, but I'm going to show you, they lowered the water completely here too. And it's kind of crazy because fish get stuck in here throughout the winter. But there's the other door that leads out to the Hudson. And there's six locks that separate the Hudson over to the Mohawk River that goes that way. But yeah, this is the walk I take. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking you with my hand. 
this is the walk I take with Zero. We like to come down here and look at the water, look at the locks, look at the Hudson. And uh, he's happy to be out. He's happy to be taking this walk. Um, it's crazy, you know. I've been saying it since this started. You know, everybody with mask on, especially like me right now, I have beanie on, a hoodie on, sunglasses on, mask on. This is like the, the outfit of a burglar. Like, and But now, nobody would think twice. Nobody would think, oh, is that guy a burglar? Because this is a normal thing. It's kind of weird, you know? That this is a normal thing for people to look like this, the way I look right now. Because um, back in the day, if you saw this, it'd be... Um, it's a little suspicious, but here we are just taking a walk during the COVID quarantine from my household. But yeah, we're taking our walk. We're staying safe. Um, you know, making the most we can of this last month of the year, 2020. Um, and I hope all of you all over the country, wherever you're from, you know, you guys are doing the best you can, keeping safe and enjoying what you can. You know, and I'm staying positive. 2021, I think, is going to be a better year. You know, they're saying the vaccine's coming. I know it's a lot of skeptics, but I know people are, there are going to be people that will take it. And I just feel things are going to get better. I'm not going to let negativity keep us down. We will be positive. And 2021 will be a much better year. Um... But I do want to make a shout out quick. Um, today, December 3rd, is my nephew, um, my only blood nephew, um, 18th birthday. Um, so happy birthday, Little Ray. We call him Little Ray. His legit name is Ramon, but we call him Little Ray because um, his dad is Ramon as well. Um, yeah, 18. And he's a big reminder because when he was born was my senior year of high school. So it's been 18 years since uh, high school for me. Um, and it's amazing to think, holy crap, how the time has passed. Um, and I called him today, wished him happy birthday, told him we miss him and that we'll see him soon. Um, they're quarantining as well because my uh, mom tested positive for COVID. Um, last week and my sister was around her so of course she was around them around her so then she was around her own family so they're all quarantining right now so you know we said once this is all up we'll uh meet up again safely um wear masks and see each other when we're all done with our quarantine so Lil Ray happy birthday happy 18th and uh he's on his countdown uh six and a half months left of school and then he's done, graduating high school and then moving on to college. But um, yeah, so here we are, just finishing our walk right across this bridge and then head back home. Zero just need to get out, like I said, stretch his legs a little bit more, see the scenery, and uh, keep you guys posted. We might go look at some more lights tonight. Um, there's a drive-through Christmas thing that starts tonight and run away from people, um, so we might do that drive in our car and go see that just get out but get out safely and be away from people all right so until then you guys enjoy your day and we'll talk to you later and remember subscribe hit that notification bell and give the video a big thumbs up because that helps support the channel reaching further goals